Hey, Justin, how, how do you feel physically going into this uh, playoffs compared to other years, considering you, you were out for like the first month of the season? Yeah, um, you know, I, uh, I feel pretty good right now. Uh, most of this season has been a, a bit tough, kind of, you know, starting behind the eight ball um, with the injury and then trying to find my mechanics a lot of the year. Um, but it seems to have slowly gotten better and better. And, um, you know, last uh, few outings, it felt pretty good. Okay, uh, Christy, right here. Um, entering the playoffs um, this season, does it feel any different since you didn't start the season with the Astros? And is there anything similar to like whenever you first came here in the um, from the Tigers? Uh, not really. No, not not similar to that. It's, it it feels like I've I've been here. Um, it doesn't it doesn't feel that different. Uh, you know, it was a really obviously weird season. Um, you know, just going to, to New York for, for a few months um, and then coming right back, you know, uh, best analogy that I've, that I've heard is like I did a summer abroad, um, you know, so and it's kind of funny. It's how, it's how it felt. And, you know, obviously knowing most of the guys here as well as I, as I do, um, you know, when I, when I came back in the locker room, it, it, it just felt like not much time had passed. Okay, Matt, Dan in the back over here. Question. Kind of following up on that, is the circuitous route you took from this this setting, this scene a year ago to where you got is it is it gratifying, satisfying? How, how would you describe the, the oh, feeling? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hard to describe. Um, you know, it's been a journey. That's for sure. It's uh, um, you know, I'm just kind of always somebody who uh, tries to gather as much information as I can and make an educated decision and. Um, you know, just just kind of go with whatever happens, and um, yeah, circuitous, nice word. Um, yeah, it led me, uh, um, you know, on, on quite the trip um, this season. But uh, like I said, uh, I, I, to find myself back here, it's just um, <clears throat> you know, funny how things shake out. And I'm happy to be here, happy to have this opportunity, and just see what happens. And how about the opportunity of being game one starter again to start a postseason? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously honored. Um, Dusty gives me the opportunity. Um, obviously, y you know, you want to get off on a good foot. Um, and, uh, you know, I have the utmost faith in, in, in every guy in this locker room. But, uh, you know, you, you want to go out there and, and, and set the team off on a good foot too. So uh, hopefully can rely on uh, a lot of the experience I've had in the past and just go out there and um, do my job. Hey, Justin. Uh, you talk about that experience. Dusty said you're probably, and you've probably answered this every postseason, but you're probably not scared, but you're nervous. Uh, talk about, is that a fair way to describe it? And what are those feelings and how does your experience help? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's like, uh, you know, it just kind of starts like building up, um, you know, the anxiousness, nervousness, um, you know, you care. And when you care uh, and you put this much time and effort into something, and uh, you don't know what's going to happen, how, what the outcome's going to be yet. Obviously, there's, there's nerves there. Um, you want so greatly to be successful, um, not only for yourself, but for the city, for your teammates, for everybody. Um, you know, so if I wasn't nervous or anxious, man, something's wrong. Um, but uh, I think that's where the experience comes in. You just kind of embrace it, use it, hopefully use it in the right way, and um, just understand what's happening. Like, I understand my emotions. I, you know, can tell, uh, you know, two days ago that, like, all right, things are starting to get a little more serious. Um, you know, I'm not as jovial around the locker room with the guys and stuff. It just, uh, you start to focus in a little bit more. And then, um, you know, that all kind of subsides once I start playing catch, which is my favorite part, you know, <laughs> to get out there and go do what I do. Um, you know, but up until that moment, man, it just kind of like, uh, it just slowly builds and simmers and until, uh, until you're finally there. Okay, Garrett in the back and then Dan. Hey, Justin. Uh, you had your highest uh, fastball velo of the season average in your last start against the D-backs. Uh, are you saving some velo in the tank? And <laughs> at this point in your career, do you have a game plan that allows you to go deeper into uh, October? Um, not necessarily saving, no. It's just been a tough year uh, for me. As you know, um, last year seemed like one of those years where just kind of everything, you know, you hit the ground running, everything goes well. You know, uh, uh, you feel good from the beginning and don't have to tinker a lot. Uh, this year was quite the opposite. Obviously, started the season injured and um, was really uh, uh, difficult to, to find my mechanics all season long. Um, you're just kind of always searching for something, um, which creates, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a hard scenario because 
it's not like I'm a golfer. I can't sit there and go take a thousand swings a day and come back the next day and do it again. My arm is kind of an unnatural motion, um, you know, so I can't, I have to throw to find what I want, but you can't throw too much because you, you know, you, you, you take some and you give some. Um, so that's been difficult. It's, there's been times this year where I'm sure my, my pitching coaches from both the Mets and here would say I probably threw too much, um, but this is really the only way I know how to do things. Um, and just kind of as things have started to settle a little bit, I've started to find some stuff mechanically that, that freed me up a little bit, particularly in this last start. Um, you know, I found something that I, I think uh, just kind of mobility-wise and, and that uh, freed up my body a little bit and allowed me to, I, I wasn't sure how it was gonna work. I, I told a couple guys in the locker room um, uh, that I thought I found something and, um, you know, I always say that, so they kind of joke with me. But um, I, it, it seemed I did when the velocity jumped a little bit. So, you know, hopefully you can carry that into the postseason and carry it through the postseason. We'll see. Okay, Dan, Greg, and then Adam. Justin, with embracing the nerves, did you have to learn to do that this time of the year? I mean, was that something that only could come through experience to not let the routine get out of whack and things like that? Um, I mean, I think you learn to do it your whole life. I, you know, when, when, when you uh, care about something, wh whatever it is, whether it's sports or a big test or, you know, whatever, um, you know, you get nervous about things. If you put the time and effort in beforehand and you want to be successful, you're going to have those nerves. So, um, you know, I, I, I think uh, along the way I've had big games, whether it's a 12-year-old AAU team, you know, in my life at that time, that's the biggest game I've ever pitched in. Um, you know, though, so you just kind of, learn as you're as you're going through it and um you know i think at, at this level um the the feelings that i have internally the emotions are no different than when i was younger now as a more mature man i've learned to deal with them a little bit better and i think you learn to embrace your routine that helps a lot i think the routine of things for me and probably a lot of athletes um really helps kind of uh, uh let your body kind of just be calm it knows what it's doing it, it knows the routine and um you know, you just kind of try to stay out of your own way. Okay, Greg, Adam, Brian, and then Francisco. Justin, tomorrow's your 13th game one start in the majors. How do you approach those when you have a chance to set the tone early in these short series? Um, I mean, that's where the fear of the unknown comes in. You don't know how you're going to approach it. I mean, you come up with a game plan, and, uh, you know, as the famous saying goes, the best laid plans. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, uh, uh, you just go out there and, and see what their approach is and try to adjust and that's the chess match that's happening and um, you know really the only end goal is to have a good result um, how that how you get there is uh, undetermined yet hey, Adam Bryan and then Francisco you hadn't seen the twins yet this season just does anything stand out about that lineup uh, very dynamic uh, uh, a very good lineup can cover a lot of uh, different pitch shapes pitch types um, you know, obviously they're hot right now. Um, so, um, you know, a great challenge. I, I obviously, like you said, haven't faced them this year. So um, I don't know who that advantage is for me or them. But, um, you know, I think uh, you know, we're in for a tough series. Okay, Brian and then Francisco. I think you've been more successful against lefties and righties. They could run like six or seven lefties out there in the lineup. Do you, when that happens, do you look at it? Is that something you can take advantage of, even though it's, you know, opposite splits? Um, not particularly. I, I uh, you know, I, I just uh, <laughs> wait and see what the lineup is on a given day. Obviously, prepare for for each guy. Um, you know, I, I don't know what their obviously game plan is, um, but uh, yeah, no, I don't think that's an advantage one way or the other. Hey, Francisco. Not to add to the nurse, my friend. I remember 13 years ago the first press conference. I mean, we've been around for a while now. But in this one in particular, you have the chance, this team has a chance of doing something that not even you have done in your glorious career. Two World Series appearance in a row and the possibility of winning two World Series in a row. Does that change the way that you see this postseason? And uh, is your preparation on an LDS uh, series changes in comparison to an ALCS and a World Series preparation? Um. First of all, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself there. Um, uh, you know, I, I think what you learn, I, I think, from the experience of this is that, uh, uh, and to allude to your second part of the question, is is that um, you don't take anybody lightly um, at any stage. You prepare the same for, for this series as you would for a World Series. Um, 
you know, uh, uh, you take nothing for granted. Um, there are no givens in this game, and I'm, you know, uh, uh, we've seen it time and time again. Wild card teams come in really hot, um, you know, off of just playing a series when we've had four or five days off, and you just don't know what can happen. Um, so, uh, to answer the question, no, I, I, I don't think we, and I don't think we treat this any differently. Um, obviously, we understand that the opportunity is there to do something special, um, but don't take that for granted and and uh, prepare. Um, just like this is our first time in the playoffs, you know, I, I think that's what's so magical about this team is, um, um, you know, these guys don't uh, take a day off, um, you know, they don't um, take anything for granted and, and come with the, the desire. And I know it sounds weird being in the playoffs, but when you've been to the playoffs as many times as we have in a row, I think it's, uh, you know, harder to, uh, to, to not take things for granted, I guess. Um, but, but we surely do not. Matt, right here. I was just curious, are, are you able to explain a little bit about what the um, the mechanical adjustment was that you found that you felt freed you up a little? Um, I mean, it just had to do with like uh, how I was kind of gathering on my, 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 my posterior leg, um, some weight distribution stuff, some mobility stuff, uh, particularly in my foot, kind of allowed me to stay engaged on the rubber a little longer, deliver some more force through my, through my hips and, um, you know, through my body. Okay, one last one, Ari over here. Right here. Justin, since you've rejoined the team and, and rejoined pitching with Martin, how does the extra preparation that he's known for and he does help you? And what are those sessions like between you guys who both obviously like to, to extra prepare? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, I, I love being back with Maldi. Um, you know, I think uh, uh, when, when you have somebody else who, who does um, that much homework and you kind of are out there armed with a lot of information, and but at the same time can trust your baseball instincts that's really fun um you know you you uh you have this uh back and forth chess game with the hitter and um you know you're not information helps but you're never boxed into one way of things um if that makes sense you know i feel like in this in this analytic age of baseball um, a lot of uh, uh pitchers teams catchers can kind of get stuck in one way to approach certain hitters and look these hitters are really good at making adjustments and they make adjustments quickly so um you know anytime anytime you're kind of boxed into to, to only one way of doing things i think um it can that can lead to to some failures um when the hitter makes a, an adjustment so to be able to uh have somebody back there who sees the game similarly and thinks similarly and will adjust on the fly um, I think it's it's a great benefit um, to everyone, not just myself, but also uh, the rest of the guys on our staff and our bullpen. Um, you know, it, it's a uh, it's a great attribute. Okay.